Warning. This podcast may contain spoilers for film and television. And it will also contain explicit content. Fuck yeah! So, Miles, welcome back to the McBeef Pickle Podcast. Wait, that's what we're doing. 49. Yeah. This is just, we're doing 49. <clears throat> yep. Things. I mean, epi- yeah, 49th <clears throat> episode of our McBeef Banquet podcast, man. How do you feel so far? Good. I feel like Good. A, a, like an, a professional podcaster. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing this for so long. Indeed. I I can't remember what it was like to not do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. The 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 days blur into minutes and the minutes blur into hours and the hours blur into milliseconds and then the milliseconds blur into decades all right cool that's how long we've been <clears throat> um so we watched a movie called kung fu hustle <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry my throat's uh really fucked up from sucking so much dick last night so did it, yeah i know what y'all Everyone's everyone's just like thinking right now, like, damn, that Miles' voice though is <clears throat> like an ASMR. <laughs> yeah, real, real good. Real it good sounded voice. like a robot for a second, and like a, like a, I don't know how to describe it, but you said it like a robot. Okay, <laughs> uh, we watched. But anyway, the film Kung Fu Hustle. Indeed. Came out in two thousand four, directed by Stephen Chow. John. Starring Stephen Chow. Starring Stephen Chow. As well. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, what did you think of it? I'll ask you first. What did you think of it? I loved this movie. Because <clears throat> um, it really represented, like, all that, like, I love about kung fu movies. Like, especially, you know, ones from around this time, even before that, too. Um, just because of, like, all the cheesy effects and stuff. And it was kind of cartoony at times. And I thought that was very funny. Mm-hmm. I really appreciated that. Um very true to the genre you know because i mean that's kind of what defines that genre is like you know a lot of that uh, wacky stuff i mean some are more well executed and like more serious but like this one was just for fun you know mm-hmm. um story was simple enough to understand and follow um and yeah i just i just thought it was a fun movie <coughs> mm-hmm. i agree what um you? i really liked it it was it was, yeah, I, I totally agree. It was like a really fun movie, you know, you just kinda hang out and just watch it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um Yeah, I would actually like that could be, you know, one of one of those movies that I'd watch again, um just to relax, I guess. <clears throat> Jesus yeah. Christ. <clears throat> it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> um this is a level of charm to it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to see his other movie, uh, Shaolin Soccer, just because it's it came out first, and so I'm kind of wondering, you know, like, um, uh, like I guess, like, what did he learn from first making Shaolin Soccer that made Kung Fu Hustle yeah. better, better or worse, or I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, they had a lot of references in their in the movie too. Um, obviously the the blood. Yeah. From The Shining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure when he's like stomping on the soccer ball is a reference to Shaolin soccer as well. Okay. I mean, that I have that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I haven't I, seen I, yeah, it. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, yeah. Um, if we ever decide to watch it, yeah, yeah, I'll, we'll uh, we'll let you know. But yeah, yeah, it's a it's a really good movie. I liked it. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, I mean, I, you know, I could tell a lot of the uh, a lot of where they were gonna go, mm-hmm. um, especially with with a reference to like the ice cream person or whatever that she was like the girl that he saved or whatever as a kid. Yeah. Um, 
um, I thought it was great that uh, um, yeah. he was like in like a cocoon or whatever Stephen Chow and then uh, he like comes out of it and he's just this kung fu master all of a sudden okay. yeah <laughs> um, then he just beats up this old guy <coughs> and then I loved like the effect with like the I'm assuming that it was just like pieces of like rubber or something but like when he like stops on the guy's foot yeah you know, and he did it to a bunch of people and he's just like what kind of was that <laughs> yeah it just it's great yeah um and the they use I mean they used a lot of CG um I would say it worked like half the time yeah half the time it worked half the time I was like really obvious <laughs> Yeah. Um, it was still good though, you know. To mm-hmm. I agree. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a good movie. I would. It was. Mm-hmm. It's just fun to watch. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely would recommend it. Check it out. Just yeah, enjoy yourself. Watch, watch, watch the movie, and uh, don't try to watch it too much. <laughs> don't dis- don't dissect it too much. You know, just enjoy it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And apparently a sequel's coming out at some point. Nice. But I don't More know. Kung Fu Hustles? Yeah. Um, did... I, I didn't... Um, did you expect uh, expect the um, landlady to be like a Kung Fu master? I mean, I, she was like really strong, so I was like, she's gotta do something. <clears throat> Cause yeah. she fucking in the beginning didn't she do something I can't remember. Um. Yeah. She like well she like she knocked her husband around and like you know tossed well, him on his ass. Well, didn't she? And, oh, she slapped the shit out of that guy in the beginning. Yeah. That's that. That's right. So yeah, I was like, she's got to yeah. You know they they show all these kung fu masters and I'm like, uh, yeah, she's probably gonna do something. Right, yeah. And then there was her, you know, her high pitched like scream or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, the like, lion's I, I, roar. I didn't actually Yeah, I didn't think about that as like being like an actual power sort of thing. Um mm-hmm. until obviously they revealed it. Uh but it made sense. The uh I thought the the like string effect to like the, the music musicians guys or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh that was, that was cool. Kinda, uh, kinda, that was kinda cool, you know. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Um especially when you see like the cat jump off and then the shadow mm-hmm. I was like, I was like oh shit they're gonna, gonna are they get, are they gonna are they gonna show the cat getting killed but they <clears throat> they showed it off indeed. screen yeah indeed it's gonna happen man just just wait cause I'll show up with a guitar one day and Eli will be toast milk toast milk toast a little bitch yes yeah it's a funny it's a funny movie it's a classic. It's a good yeah. watch. Um, definitely a fun time. Mm-hmm. Yep, I was la- I was definitely laughing a lot because it was just so good. Uh huh. Especially like you know like the chase scene with um, um, what's his name, uh, Stephen Chow's character and like the the landlady like. Yeah. Oh was, yeah, yeah. That was good. Like uh, like Coyote <coughs> and the Roadrunner. Mm-hmm. Um. So I guess that's all we need to say. I don't know. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Go check it out for yourself, y'all, you know, and tell us what you think of it. Because mm-hmm. we hope you like it as much as we did. Um. Or you might find it really stupid. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was great. Well, that sucks because our opinion is is the only opinion that you should our have. Our opinion matters. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Good. Okay. Cool. Uh, so did you watch anything this week besides Kung Fu Hustle? Indeed. I watched a movie called Dark City. Dark City. Uh, sci-fi film that came out in like the 90s? 98. Um, Interesting. This looks it cool. Was, it was, yeah. yeah um, it says it's on Vudu for free, but it's actually not. I actually looked it up. Um, so I watched it with a friend of mine. He brought over like a director's cut, and we watched mm. it. But yeah, it's got Kiefer, uh, Kiefer, uh, blah, 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 uh, Kiefer Sutherland, Rufus C- uh, Sewell, Sewell, I don't remember. Uh, Jennifer Connelly, and uh, yeah, no, it's really good. I love the uh, 
the art direction and like the sets the sets were great the architecture and everything it's like a sort of um kind of like noir but like also sort of like um kind of like dystopian kind of i think like metropolis metropolis sort of thing mm-hmm. um as yeah just a frame of reference it's yeah, yeah it looks like really a good, it looks like a horror film but yeah <clears throat> um Huh. It's very interesting. Yeah, I uh, I liked it. Cool. Um, other than that, um, been watching what we do in the shadows. So there's that. The the show. Indeed. You like it? And indeed, indeed I do. <laughs> I just watched the one with uh, Mark Hamill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Season two. <laughs> I was like, I was watching it with my buddy, and I was like, oh, I was telling him, I was like, I hope that they, I was hoping they, uh it would do the like a bit where like he takes the like toothpick or whatever out of his mouth and he's like, Laszlo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they actually did that later, <laughs> which was great um, to see. So, yeah, no, it was good. Mm-hmm. Good show. Good show. Did you watch the movie? What about you? I have not. Yet. Okay. I have not yet seen the movie. Um, I want to, but I don't think it's on anything. I think it's on Canopy, isn't it? Is it on Canopy? I, I think. Yeah. Um, At least that's where that's I watched it. Checked. Gotcha. <clears throat> I'm apologize again for my throat. I just uh... what the heck, Miles's throat? But why would you be so dastardly? Um, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it is on canopy still. Cool. Um, so I'll yeah, watch it later. It's on there. Um, let's see. I watched um, two movies this week. Uh, one I've already seen. One that I actually you've already seen too, because we wa- I made you watch it one- at one point. Um, and that was Psych the movie. Because yes. yeah, the um, I re I bought it on Google Play because I wanted to rewatch cool. it, and it's a fucking good movie. And it also movie, yeah. the sequel uh, came out. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. I saw it. Um it's if you want to watch it, it's free on the new streaming service Peacock. Um Peacock. which is by NBC. Um interesting. So yeah, there's movies on there, so maybe we'll look, we'll see what's on there sometimes as well. Cuz they have, you know, free movies, uh like not just Good. originals, but also Good. um other movies um but yeah psych 2 was pretty good as well i enjoyed it nice hell yeah yeah i'll uh i'll have to check it out then because mm-hmm. you're right that was a good movie um what else have you watched uh that's that's about it i mean there's some movies that i'm hoping to watch this weekend um because i've been wanting to watch gravy for a while it's a film by james roday who um Okay. Is in, um, Psych, the main character, the main actor in yeah. Psych, but um, he directed mm-hmm. this film called Gravy. It's like a comedy horror type of thing, and it's finally free on something. So I'm gonna try and watch it. Looks really good. Very cool. Um, actually, if you know what we're watching next week, Miles, <laughs> I make that joke like all the time. Damn you do, it. dude. Um, it's funny. It's fucking hilarious. I know. It's so funny, especially the more you say it. Yeah, no, it's on. It's on Tubi. Yeah, it's on TV. Cool. Yeah. Um. Amazon Prime Video. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that was the other thing. I watched. Uh, they live this week too. They live again. Again, nice, yeah, it dude. A classic. It is so good. Everybody hadn't seen it, so I showed it to him. <laughs> it's a good movie. Oh man. Mhm. Yeah, man. And there's. I just forgot. I forgot how many like good quotes there were in that movie too. Mhm. Like, cause, cause the fact that uh, Roddy Piper is a, is a wrestler, so it made sense. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was like they, these lines were written for him or if he ad libbed them or whatever, but and he's like, listen, man, put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. It's just like, it's so good. It's, I just, it was so, yeah. Excuse me. It's a classic. You're excused. <laughs> Excuse me again. Um, and there's also like, like a lot of movies on Netflix and TV shows that I want to, um, watch. Because a lot of them came out, like, Old Guard. God. Mm -hmm. Old Guard 
Uh, looks interesting, at least. Um, yeah. Indubitably. Eurovision, I guess. I don't know. Yes. I heard it's good. Uh, yeah, my brother watched that. Yeah, my brother watched that. He said it's pretty good. I'm kind of curious um, to see what that's all about. Yeah, there's some other stuff. I still haven't seen Extraction either. Should probably watch that. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I do want to get back into watching some anime too. I've been interested. Um, yeah. Because Connor, Connor watched the um, Seven Deadly Sins anime. She said it was good. And mm-hmm. I only ever watched like the first two episodes, so I'll probably have to restart. But I might try and I, I might try and watch that at some point soon very cool um yeah super super boring conversation um one of the one last thing um there's a game that i've actually been really wait i've been waiting for for a while now it's called carry on uh c a r r i o n um and i already pre-purchased it like pre-ordered it on the switch <clears throat> it was only like 20 bucks so um but it's like okay. you play as essentially it's like a it's like an alien horror film essentially but you play as the alien so you're like okay uh you know killing people as like a carnage type of you know carnage from marvel type yeah, of like, monster yeah. it's That's really it. it's really it looks really fun mm. Yeah, and I just can't fucking wait to play it. It comes out next week. Or er, at the oh, point yeah. of this game coming out, uh, this ep- podcast episode coming out would be this week. Nice. So, yeah, fun. All right, cool. Enough of the chit chat. Let's fucking get into it, boys. Hell yeah. Um, today. I just realized your, your background is so appropriate. Yeah, it is. It is. Sick right now. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. It's almost like you designed it that way. What you got for us today, Miles? Today we're gonna be playing AI Dungeon. But AI Dungeon. The new multiplayer mode, boy. Whoa. We're gonna try it out because it's finally free. Uh, before it was like I think five or ten bucks a month to to use it when you're a premium member, but they finally made it free, so we're gonna try it out. Um, okay, so settings, uh, fantasy. Horror, Apocalypse, Cyberpunk, Battle, or Custom? Um, Is this something we can do, like, like I can play it on my phone along with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to get the game set up first, though. Um, so we have Fantasy, Horror, Apocalypse, Cyberpunk, Battle, or Custom. I guess Cyberpunk. Okay. Or no, let's do, let's do Horror. Awesome. Exactly. Just what I wanted. All right. Um, pick a location, mansion or forest. Um, mansion. All right. Maryland mansion. <laughs> All right, I gotta pick a name. Um. Uh uh uh. uh I'm gonna pick my classic. Didn't muffler. No. My classic uh, new username that I've been using. I <laughs> think just my classic new username. That's your name. <laughs> um, and then I think I just share it with you. I shared it with you on Messenger. Yeah. Oh God, I just got a message from Thomas Woke. Oh yeah, I forgot that we oh, yeah, we used to have our names. To us that. Character, what should my character name be? Let's do, um, <clears throat> oh, wait, can I change my name? God damn it. I don't think I could change my name now. That, that's fine. That's all right. You live and you learn. Yeah. I mean, you could always just reset it up real quick. No, that's fine. Don't worry. Don't, don't. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, All right. I'm, I've joined up. A group of friends are exploring. Hey, you know what? You can read. My throat's dead. Okay. <clears> throat> <clears> throat> 
A group of friends are exploring an abandoned mansion. As they enter, they notice the faint smell of a fire burning, and sheet-covered furniture litters the dusty floor. They make their way through the mansion and hear the sound of footsteps on creaky stairs. Just then, the doors to the room slam shut. They try not to panic as they hear the footsteps approaching. <clears throat> Don't be afraid, a deep voice says. Oh, you're safe now. My name is Charles. <laughs> the group, <clears throat> wide-eyed, try and stand still. All right. Um. Uh. I'm gonna put ignores. Ig- ignore that. Nah, I'm just gonna put moves around. <laughs> <laughs> trips over something trips over furniture <coughs> all right oh wow uh because my name i change i have it as humongous chungus because that's what i am moves around mm-hmm. oh wow humongous says moving backwards he tries to peer through the doorway but the figure steps into view blocking him the figure is a humanoid monster yes okay uh <clears throat> I'm gonna put. Can I just put the action and do I have to put like my name first? No, no you can put. Yeah, it has already has it as your. <coughs> All right, go ahead and read yours. Okay, <clears throat> my character's name is Fuzzy Pencil. Fuzzy Pencil tackles the monster. The monster's huge head snaps around and it grabs Fuzzy by the arm. It begins to squeeze. Fuzzy lets out a pained scream. <clears throat> no. He screams before passing out. <laughs> um, I passed out, Miles. I took one for the fucking team. Alright. Um, I'm taking one for the team as well. <laughs> <laughs> The monster smile. Uh, I say, Humongous Chungus comes on monster. The monster smiles. Thank you, kind sir. Now, Charles says, what was that you were saying about survivors? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, kind sir. (coughs) I'm going to put regains consciousness. Slowly regain. Okay, yeah. Fuzzy slowly regains consciousness. Huh? S- s- survivors? Ah, uh, yes, your friends, the humans. Are we not humans, Miles? What? Um. I guess not. Okay. That's uh, let's see. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what it says. I put, Humongous Chungus comes on Fuzzy Pencil. Fuzzy screams as another powerful oh jet of hot piss sprays from the monster's huge hose. Huge hose. He stands there, eyes open, in terror as the monster pisses on him repeatedly. What the fuck? Oh, Miles. <laughs> Am I the monster? No, you got the monster to pee on me, though, apparently. <laughs> you just got it in the right mood, I guess. <laughs> So, <laughs> the fuck? Shit, my throat. You good? You can always, you know, yeah. have it uh, do stuff for you. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I my character screamed when that happened, too. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, it's so... And then, what? and then you uh, you stand there, eyes open in terror, probably getting piss in your eyes as the monster pisses on him repeatedly. So, mm. I 
feel bad for you, man. You probably got piss in your eyes and stuff. <laughs> oh gosh this is so gross all right read what it says i'm not gonna read that that's so gross Ugh. um all right well fuzzy pencil hugs humongous chungus so i mean this is getting on you too now i'm just saying okay um but fuzzy is overcome with ecstasy as the monster continues to piss on him i thought he was like upset by this but all right maybe that was for screams of joy <laughs> Um, he sobs as he, uh, as he, what the fuck, soaking himself in the monster's urine. The monster lets out a low growl. All right. All right. I'm going to say what the fuck is going on. Charles looks down at you. The monster, the one you call Humongous Chungus, is lost. <laughs> I'm the monster. <laughs> How, so? How so? It's tried to find its way home. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the monster. Um, I don't get it. I, that's what it said. Is, is Charles the monster? The monster, the Charles one the you monster. call Humongous Chungus, is lost. Oh, yeah. So I guess you are the monster. <laughs> it's just it's just assume based on what actions you typed in earlier that mm-hmm. you're just an absolute monster. Yeah. That you just are the absolute worst. <laughs> it made you the monster. Um hmm. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't, no. It, nope. What does it say? So I said, fuzzy pencil kills humongous chungus. You put kill. And I say, no, I said kills. Okay. I said kill. I said kills, but the type date I said kill. Um, Charles, I think you should let us kill the monster. Are you sure? Well, we did save his life. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> we saved his life, so we should get to kill him. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Let's let's uh, just continue the story. See if if that works. Charles presses a button and the monster's restraints melt. He turns to face you, eyes filled with malice. I'm not some measly beast, boy. He snarls. Beast boy. Snarls like Charles. All right. I don't. Um, I don't know. This story is fucking confusing. It, it really is. <laughs> That's the thing about this, like this uh, multiplayer. Yeah. Well, even just the, the AI dungeon. Um, it yeah. Um, it like the the mechanics of it are kind of mm. difficult sometimes. It just sort of writes itself in circles. Yeah. You know? It says the AI doesn't know what to say. Alter, undo, or try again. Well, how about we just continue the story on our own? Jesus. Right. Yeah. You can take it whenever you're ready. <laughs> Again, it <coughs> sets, but whatever. Um, the fuzzy pencil sets fire to the mansion. Uh, the monster grabs you by the neck, swings you around, and tosses you into a wall, smacking your head hard. You fall to the ground, dazed. You gotta help me out here, Miles. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Hmm. 
All right, Humongous Chungus tries to come on Fuzzy Pencil to wake him up. The monster thrusts his hips forward, and Fuzzy's head is pelted with a load of hot piss. I don't think it understands what that verb is. It keeps saying piss. Yeah. Like, I think it just, I don't know. He's Wake scre- up, human. He screams as the stream of liquid fires his is there nostrils. Like no one else? <laughs> is there like no one else with us? Like, or, or is there other people just watching this? Right now? I don't know, like, man. <coughs> I thought I it was a group imagine. of friends, but it's just you and I. I guess. I wouldn't call you my friend, considering how many times <laughs> you tried you. Uh, you know. Um. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm just trying to wake you up, so, bro. That's yeah, man. Thank, thanks. I appreciate it, dude. Um, no problem. I don't know. There's no water. I gotta do something. Yeah, that's 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 definitely accurate. <coughs> um, let's say. Um, Hmm. <laughs> let's see if let's see what that does. Okay. Why am I the monster? <laughs> hey, at least I give you a compliment. I said fuzzy pencil cuts off humongous chungus penis. Arg. The monster howls as fuzzy hacks off his manhood with an oversized pair of scissors. So, it's giving you a compliment there. It's not just a regular pair of scissors. It's like an oversized. Pair. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. You know, like a pair of, like shears. Humongous Chungus scream. Ah, he screams. That will teach you to let a bunch of children die, won't it? What? Fuzzy says. The monster collapses to his knees and falls forward dead. Did I kill you? I think I killed you. Fucking you fucking killed me, asshole. Hey, you got what you deserved. I did. I came on you multiple times. Or I pissed Indeed. on you, I guess. I don't know. Indeed. Uh, yeah, probably both, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. Let's say. Um. I'm gonna go kill Charles. I. So. Okay. <laughs> Nope, Charles killed me. <laughs> oh, well, he did. <coughs> so I type, Fuzzy Pencil kills Charles. Fuzzy screams as Charles presses a button and electricity runs through your body. You writhe in pain, your body giving way to the pain. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> your bones crack and pop as your muscles burn. All right, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it too, see if... <laughs> see if it lets you do anything. <laughs> yeah. Humongous Chungus kills Charles. Charles screams as Humongous <laughs> grabs him and smashes his head into the wall repeatedly. That's for my son, he screams. While we're killing him with his bare hands. That was awesome. It's for my son. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. I don't know. I have no idea happening (coughs) (laughs) fuzzy pencil eats charles's corpse uh savoring the taste of his flesh so are we done here fuzzy says it's a good question oh wait shit
All right, I say, yeah, let's go home. Good idea, Fuzzy replies. The group leaves the mansion and returns to Fuzzy's home. Wow. We did it. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, we didn't even take you to the hospital. You want to try a different one? Yeah, let's try a different one. Okay. Hopefully we can have some better luck with a more cohesive story. Yeah, the end. See what happens if I put the end. The AI, the AI doesn't know what to say. Awesome. All right, you uh, you can um, pick. Just go to the main menu, do yeah, multiplayer yeah. mode. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, all that jazz. All right, what do you want to do? Fantasy, horror, apocalypse, cyberpunk, battle, or custom? Let's do let's do uh, cyberpunk because I know you fucking love cyberpunk, bro. Bro, oh, I do love cyberpunk. <clears throat> Sorry. Character's name. Let's make this one. <clears throat> um. <coughs> Ew. Gross. I'm so disgusting. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna call myself Thick Shadow. Okay. Um, how do I share this with you? Uh, it's at the top. There should be like a plus button. Okay. Do Malays Mignon. Did you get it? Let's see. Uh, I don't think you shared the right thing. Like, does yours, um, in the message, does it have, like, the large link above it? Yeah. Because, like, here's, I don't know. Yeah, show me what you... Show me what you're seeing. I fucking oh, I can't because of my background. God, hold on. Let me turn it off. Delete your background, bitch. You can't tell me what to do, bitch. All right. Oh, snap. So, like, so okay. like here, okay. here, there's, like, that's, that's what I, I sent you, and then... Yeah. That's just hold what on. it shows yeah, on see. mine. I can, just, I can just look at what, yeah, I sent you. Because it just took me to the main menu. Is that what oh, it took the, you the, to? Okay. No, it took me straight to the thing. Okay. Um, but I hit the plus sign, so I don't know. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh... <coughs> Weird. I had to copy and paste it. Okie doke. <clears throat> Hold on. It's being a little bitch. Ah, Jesus Christ. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm in. I'm in. Um, let's see. All right, perfect. All right, hundreds of thousands of cyborg slaves live in the futuristic city of Zale. They are forced to serve various mega corporations and are severely punished if they disobey. They begin their workday salvaging metals in local in a local junkyard. They look around and see an endless amount of components they can use. These parts can come in handy in the future when they become more advanced. Zealots and fanatics of several religions rule the city with an iron fist. 
And you can go ahead and read yours. Yep. Thick Shadow. That's my name. Oh, fuck. I hate it. I always take out my headphones sometimes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, Thick Shadow kidnaps cyborg, cyborgs. A man appears. He has a black hooded cloak and a red mask with sharp li- uh, black lines coming from the eyes. And across the cheeks. I love how much detail they put into the mask. <laughs> like, uh, who dares disturb me? I trust you have a good reason for invading your shadow's privacy. The cloaked figure asks. Am I the cloaked figure? I See, I don't know how this... No. Uh, no, you're just... No, I think you're just... There uh, as well? Just there. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, uh, you might be able to write it to where you are. Who dares disturb so me? I, I trust I you have a good you reason for invading your shadow's privacy. Um... Uh, I'm gonna say fuck you want boy and and my character's name is ass and titties so ass and titties uh, the cloaked figure raises an eyebrow I'm here to offer you a deal oh I need a lot of slaves you have a lot of them <laughs> I would like to make an agreement with you. What is it? And then we just go from there, okay. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I'm just going to put makes counter offer. <laughs> even though he hasn't even laid one out yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thick Shadow makes a counter offer. You need workers, right? I have a lot of them. <laughs> I could have them if you agree to support my faith. <clears throat> if? Question mark. If. Period. I will see your faith. You will see mine. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you yours. I'll show you mine if you come <laughs> yours. Uh, the cloaked figure ponders your offer for a moment. Hold on. Um. All right, so I put punches the cloaked figure in the dick. <laughs> the cloaked figure grabs his member <laughs> and begins crying out in pain. <laughs> you bitch. I'll have your hands, feet, and eyes stewed and served on your mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love I I don't know I can't tell which I love more the fact that they describe it as his member, or the shouting that he does. <coughs> I'll oh, yeah. hands, feet, and then there's like and dot 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 eyes, eyes to be like, served on your mother. Yeah. What the fuck, bitch? We don't have um, slaves. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Well, I kidnap cyborgs. You kidnap cyborgs, but are they slaves? Yes, yeah, so I have a bunch of them. Yeah, they're yeah. It's like it says that the sli- cyborgs are the slaves. Didn't you read the beginning, Miles? I did out loud. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, hundreds of thousands of cyborg slaves. It's literally the first thing, Miles. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm just gonna put cuts off his head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thick Shadow cuts off his head. The cloaked figure stops screaming and just looks at you with a blank stare. We have an agreement then. <laughs> yeah, yes. Thank you. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> See, Miles, if you want to come to an agreement, just cut off someone's head. Mm-hmm. Maybe it means like I cut off your head. <laughs> just like, okay, this guy, this guy means business. Like. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Or he cuts off um, <laughs> his head. <laughs> so, like he cuts like, off his own head? No, like you cut off the cloak figure's head because he was in so much pain and you just like got rid of the pain, you know? <laughs> oh, the agony. Oh, thank you. That's better. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I put hands over, um, hands over, over their slaves to the cloak figure. The cloak figure takes the slaves and disappears. See you soon, Shadow. I'm sure we will. The shadows bow their head and disappear into the shadows. You're home free. What does it mean by you're home free? We I were, don't know. We were controlling that whole situation. Like We punched him in the dick. And then cut off his head. Yeah. How did he, just, how did he leave? Um, I guess there's multiple. Because it said shadows. <coughs> yeah. Which is weird because my last name is Shadow. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like a, I'm one of them. I'm just really like o- overweight. <laughs> uh, you know, I had to make deals with them. Constantly. <laughs> yeah. um, um. <coughs> Sorry. I apologize. Um. Perfect. <laughs> like, where do we even go from here? We just did the deal, and then... We did, yeah. And we're, and we're done. I guess we could grab some more... <laughs> no, dude. Um, what the fuck? No, thanks to the cyborgs. Okay, um... Thick Shadow cuts off Ass and Titty's head. (laughs) You walk out of the tavern with your slaves. You notice how much different Zale is now. It was a poor city that relied on factories and large numbers of workers to stay afloat. Now, thanks to the cyborgs, it has a gothic appearance. Hey, looks like your background. Yeah, no. Just kidding. That's more robotic. It has a gothic appearance. Um... (coughs) Sorry. Um, Let's see. Now, thanks to the cyborgs, it has a gothic appearance. Um. <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna actually do it though this time. Um. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Um. And I put acid titties, cuts off thick shadows heads. You walk I down the street. Well, yeah, the one above and the one, um, the, the other one. That one. I cut off. Yeah. Another guy. <laughs> you walk down the street, passing by the cyborgs. You stare at you with blank stares. They're completely docile, like an animal. You enter a shop and buy some food, <laughs> which you take back to your slaves, your cyborg slaves that eat food. <laughs> you throw it on the floor and tell them to eat. <laughs> um. Oh, I guess they. Yeah, they're ta- they're half human, so I mean. I guess they would eat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, doesn't, it didn't know what to make of that uh, Thick Shadow feeds the cyborgs Ass and titties head The cyborgs look at the head and just stared Like it was a foreign object Ha! They don't even know what to make of your head um, What's wrong with you? You ask <laughs> Nothing I see your arms, my arms could move You just don't have any It doesn't work like that Oh, it's because they're acting to me having no body Because you cut off my head too <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't imagine just like a head just floats in there with another head and just tosses it into the, <laughs> the, the cell. Just like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I used. I see you have arms. My arms could move if I. Ha- I just don't have any. Like I don't. Know. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <coughs> Fuck it, we ballin'. Acid titties punches thick shadows dick off. Alright, Thick Shadow escapes. Grabbing his manhood. Is this the best you've got? (laughs) Thick Shadow punches your hand away. Tries to punch you, but you dodge and knock him out. Okay. He punches my hand away. 
I punch you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just sounds I, I funny. Try. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Get away. <laughs> no, get away. Um. Knock you out. Okay. <laughs> you really, <laughs> you really get knocked around. Yeah, I know. In these stories. What? <laughs> I type, thick shadow blows up acid titties and escapes. And then it, it says, you cut off the cyborg's head and walk back home. Is that implying that you're a cyborg now, too? Or is that just the other cyborgs that are in the, in the cells or whatever? Oh, my God. Uh, um... <laughs> We're just gonna like keep killing each other and then just like keep coming back no matter what. Because at this point we've got each other's heads off and all kinds of shit. Yeah. <laughs> As the titties blows, thick shadow. Oh no! I did a I did an accident. Oh no! That's what I I meant to do that. A strange sound erupts from your speakers. You and you realize the cyborg is still alive. The noise continues, oh and you see him levitate. <laughs> he takes a weird pose with his legs spread and his arms stretched out to the sides. He's T-posing. Oh, goody. He's T-posing. <laughs> My gosh. Well, actually, no. It'd be like X-posing, I guess. Because his yeah. legs are spread out, too. I'll give it to you. His legs are spread, yeah. Um... <laughs> Like, it almost, I guess, it thinks that we're, like, the same person, almost. Yeah. I guess with multiplayer, yeah, it's a little... Oh, snap. The uh, Thick Shadow kills the cyborg. The cyborg falls back to the ground and his body goes through some sort of transformation. As it closes up, <laughs> just like folding, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> a black cube appears in the middle of the street. The noise stops and the street is completely silent. Ooh. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Inserts the black cube into anus. No one to ask. It doesn't even. I didn't even specify whose anus. So, you approach the cube and examine it. What the hell is this? A strange picture of a pyramid and an eye of Horus appears, <coughs> with small text below it. The black cube is very mysterious, but I think it will help us in our quest for freedom. <coughs> Does it say that on the cube, or is that just what we? I don't know. I think we say that. That's just what we said. Yeah. Um. And it, it completely ignored me, inserting it into my anus. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> read it, read it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, okay. Thick shadow has sex with the black cube. You put your hand inside the cube and a green liquid seeps out. What the hell is this? And the, is this you talking? I don't it's, know. It's uh, feces. You, you yell, backing away from the cube. Just use it, thick shadow. It's like, how do I even know you know what you're talking about? Like, like, like you're just like, yeah. You're just like saying something random. Like, it's uh, um, uh, feces. And it's like, you. It's like, I believe you. And then I'm just uh, like, just use it, bro. You know, use it, bro. Just go with it. Use it as fuel for your relationship. All right. <laughs> so I put, I say, just eat it. What could happen? What? You're a monster. If you don't eat it, you'll just leak and leak and leak. Do you really want to be that guy? 
Fine, you yell. Uh, what? You raise the cube to your mouth and gulp it down. So now I'm eating it? the cube it? itself? I guess. Um... <laughs> Bless you. Um, thank you. You have been blessed. I don't know if it's gonna. Okay. <laughs> Is this you talking again? I, I don't, don't know. know. Like, um, Jesus Christ. I put thick shadow stabs, ass, and titties. You awake in the middle of the street, lying on your back. A black cube lays on your chest. Ah, you're up. Maybe it's the cube talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're up. We've arrived. We've arrived where? You ask. We're at the factory. Where it all began. He didn't put where it all began. I just put that myself. Yeah. But, like, Miles, we're back where we started. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. I look like as soon as I stabbed you, it just teleported me. All right, so I put shoots myself in the head. <laughs> you look around and realize that, okay, cool, they ignored me, thank you, and realize the factory. What? You look around and realize the factory. Yep, you've realized it. The area is under some construction, so it's not being used for the time being. This is where we'll stay, Thick Shadow says. It actually used your name. So I like, and yeah, like at times it recognizes both of us, mm-hmm. but then like other times, yeah, I feel like it's, it just thinks we're the same. And like, there was one time I was, I was working on like a detective story and I had to like write, like, it's like, it doesn't make sense sometimes. So I had to like try to write it a specific way to get it to go the direction I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. And it still wouldn't sometimes, like it would just make <coughs> sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you really gotta like. Force I it. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's <coughs> either way. Um. I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, um, I said this is where we'll stay. Thick shadow says right, and then I just put blows up factory. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, thick shadow blows up factory. What the hell are you doing? You walk towards the factory, ignoring the voices of your slaves. What do you think you're doing? We're getting out of here. I'm really not worried about you. Damn. And another and another thing is like you write something and sometimes it'll 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 pretend that you already did that, I guess, or recognize that yeah. you've done that and just ignore it and keep going or, you know, it's right. it's a little confusing. So it's definitely a, a very janky like <clears throat> writing software, you know. Yeah. Cuz it has to like think about it and it can only recognize so much, you know. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. But what? Whatever. What can you do? Yeah. Well, how, how about we? How about we leave it there? Um, I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that. So that's that. Uh, all right. Cool. Um, Thick shadow at the end. <laughs> okay. So. Um, up next we have. Uh, Something um, a little bit off the beaten path, you know. It's it's not something we've really done before, um, and I'm I'm a little worried it's not going to work out. But uh, it's act trivia. Wow, cool. Wow. No one expected that. <clears throat> nope, me included. So we've got six questions. Only one has to do with the movie. Interesting. Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah. All right. And the, the last... has to do with uh, Shaolin Soccer? No. And the last one is the classic, What's the Connection? What's the Connection? And I feel like I did a pretty good job. I think I think this... I got a good set of questions here, honestly. I'm still not going to get it. Yeah, probably not. Um... <laughs> All right, cool. And your prize 
is um, the the all the slaves. Wow. All those cyborg slaves. You get to do keep I just them. get their heads or like do I get the, the everyone like the whole you, body? You get the whole body, bro. Nice. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta change. I change. I don't have a have a, a trivia background, but I can just do this. Okay. So first question. <clears throat> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. When the landlady is seated between the boss and his assistant and does a gesture, who slash what is this action a reference to? Say again. So. <clears throat> when the I landlady she's, she's where? is in the car seated between the oh. boss and his assistant and does yeah. a gesture, which the gesture is like wags finger, closes fist, cracks knuckle, and then thumbs nose. Um, what is this? Who or what is this action a reference to? Oh man, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it could be quite a few things, honestly. Um, I didn't even put the answer down, by the way. But I know what oh, yeah. it is, so um, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. What is it? I'm not sure. It is a reference to. The uh, Bruce Lee okay. in I think it's Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. Or Revenge okay. of the Dragon. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up real quick. <clears throat> Just so I'm not like bl- blowing air out my ass, you know. Know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Kung Hustle. That's what I. Kung Hustle. That's what I put. Um, <coughs> trivia, trivia. Okay. Um, it is a uh, 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 Return of the Dragon. That's Return the movie. Of the Dragon. Yeah. He. Um, here's what it says. She wags her finger at him, closes both fists, then just the right. Cracking knuckles can be heard. Tricks her head up. The boss nods. He understands. Then she thumbs her nose, exactly like Bruce Lee. Nice. I haven't seen it. So she was played by Bruce Lee? Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Damn. <clears throat> um, next question. What did Jeremy Renner surround himself with in order to research his role and nail his accent in the 2010 film The Town? The Town. Uh, the Town. Um... Shoot, what is that one about? Um, hmm. I'm assuming it's probably related to like the genre, right? I mean, well, maybe not. Hmm. And it, and it's people. Like he's surrounded himself with people. With a like I said, okay, gotcha. Um. <coughs> And he, he said he was to get himself ready for the role in like an accent. You said mm-hmm. he, he to nail it. Yeah, he had an accent. I have no idea. Um, because it's like I think it's uh uh what is it? Fuck, it's the main, not not main. Um, it's just like the town takes place in. It's a it's an American city. It's not like a foreign. City. Okay, it's not like some sort of okay. Uh, um, uh, I don't know where it takes place. <laughs> but it's it's somewhere in like it's not yeah it's somewhere in America. Yeah yeah. Um, I got it, yeah okay. Um, Boston Boston that, that's what it is. Boston. Yeah, it's a Boston accent. Boston. So what did he say around himself with? Um. I mean, I guess you would have had to know what the town is about, because I, th- I don't yeah, know. I've seen it. It's a good movie. Um, yeah. Um, no, I, I haven't. Um, but, um, yeah. So I'm not certain. I guess I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess I would say like you know, people from Boston. But that would that would be all I would know. You know. I'll give. I'll, I'll at least give you a half a point. <clears throat> um. It was actual convicted bank robbers in Charlestown. Um, oh, okay. Because it's about bank robbers. Um, mm. 
okay. in Boston. Um, so in yeah, he, he surrounded himself with actual bank robbers. Um, okay, question three. <clears throat> what did Billy Bob Thornton put in his shoes to make his walk more awkward and consistent in the 1996 film Sling Blade? Mm. <clears throat> what did he put in his shoes? Uh, rocks, maybe? I'll give you one more guess. <clears throat> Um, I mean, you can put anything technically, mm-hmm. um, as long as it you know fits in a shoe. So, uh, uh, coins. It, what about coins? Uh, coins? No, I'll give you half a point though. Rocks was pretty close. It was crushed okay. glass. Shit, dude. Now Wait, I really yeah I Damn. I mean I think I think what it what what I think it was was like maybe there was like a another compartment or something where he gave enough I, okay, I don't so know it's not actually honest like the bottom is yeah I funny. would hope at least cause that's fucking nuts bro like unless yeah cause like I guess it would make you like really sort of try to be light <coughs> under your feet kinda <coughs> like shift your weight constantly sort mm-hmm. of thing I don't I don't know yeah that's weird that's weird yeah um so yeah cr- I would cr- never do that crushed glass no I wouldn't either um question four what shot did the room's editor try to convince Tommy Wiseau to get rid of on the grounds that the sight of it scared his wife? What shot? Yeah, in the room. Damn, there could be so many. I feel like, well, I guess not that many. Um, I mean, there's this death scene at the end. But, like, I almost feel like that's too obvious. I'm trying to think of everything that goes on in the room. Um... <coughs> Cause there's a scene, uh, there's a scene up on the rooftop with um, <laughs> what's his name, uh, the, what whatever his name is, yeah. Um, there's. Her, are you talking about Mark? Mark. That, the, oh yeah. hi, Mark. That scene. No, no, I was talking about the one with the um, the kid when he's up there. With the oh kid, like, yeah. Drug. <laughs> and got the drug runner. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever his name is, crazy, crazy Mike or something like that. I don't remember. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Because there's that, but I don't think that would be it. Because there wasn't anything like really that, like scary about it. I mean, obviously they know it's acting, so I guess I'll just say his his death scene. Because like I don't know what else would be there that could like, because you said scare, right? That would scare mm-hmm. his wife. Yeah. Yeah. I um. And you did it, you said it made it into the cut? Yeah. It yeah. It made it into the cut. Okay. Okay. I'm, I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna say his death scene. Okay. I'm not sure um, what, else it, what else it would be. <laughs> that's wrong. Um, it was his naked ass. <laughs> his naked ass. Damn. I don't know why it would... That's true, that wasn't like, right. the lady, the wife probably has seen an ass before. Like, come on. Exactly. I don't know what that would... Why that would scare her. <coughs> yeah. Unless there's just something <coughs> super weird... Disturbing about, about his ass. <laughs> see on camera. Like, when you look into it, it's just, like, envelops you and that's all you see. It's just darkness. <laughs> this is advanced darkness. Yeah. All right. Uh, question five. What title was the film Ted shipped under to theaters? Damn. Um, and it's an it, it's an aspect question. of the movie. Like it's something. An aspect of the movie. It's something they mention. I feel like I've heard this too. I don't remember though. Um. Damn. Um, a pseudo name for Ted. Um, like a name that was shipped under. Uh, damn, I feel like I've heard this. Um, it's an aspect of the film. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll give you this hint. It's 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 a it's a thing they say. Something they say in it. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, it's been such a while since I've seen Ted though. Um, <laughs> oh man, was it maybe like their K 
catchphrase? Didn't they have? A, didn't they have like a catchphrase or something that they said to each other? Mm-hmm. Um, they did. Maybe, oh, what was that? Excuse me. <clears throat> Damn it! I don't remember. Um, <coughs> Damn, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was, so I, I don't have a guess. Um, I'll give you a hint. Um, it has to do with a weather thing. A weather thing. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Oh yeah, because it was something about storms, wasn't it? Hmm. Like it, mm-hmm. it's always like whenever it's storming or something, or like, oh, what the fuck was the quote of uh, um. Something about storms. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Something about storms. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'll have to, yeah. Um, it was Thunder Buddies. Thunder Buddies. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They were okay, Thunder Buddies. Um, so you got yeah, that one wrong. Yeah, because they were, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Last question is, what's the connection? This is it between all the movies we talked about then? Yep. Okay. So we got Kung Fu Hustle, The Town, Sling Blade, The Room, and Ted. It's it's about um, the connection has to do with uh, something to do with the production of each film. <coughs> I see. Okay. Um. Hmm. Has to do with the you said the production. Yeah. So like, think about like the actors, the directors, the writers. Okay. Um, because I haven't seen. Well, how, how about this? This might help. Think about the movies that you have seen out of these, and how they mm-hmm. would connect to Kung Fu Hustle or each other. This, I mean, <coughs> I guess there's. Um, which one am I missing? Because there was Kung Fu Hustle, Sling Blade, The Town, and Ted. And then was there another one? The room. The room. Oh, yeah, the room. Okay. Um, damn. Okay, because I was going to say maybe something to do with, like, CGI stuff, but I don't <clears throat> think the room used a lot of that, so. No, not that. Um, yeah. Uh, or maybe was it, was it maybe that um, the actors or maybe not necessarily the actors but like the directors were like involved in like multiple stuff like multiple roles and stuff because like Stephen Chow was like the director and like the actor and then I know Ted was Seth Seth Mac- no yeah Seth MacFarlane yeah and uh you know he voiced someone in it so like um and then the room you know had Tommy Wiseau I will take I it, it like. that that is correct each movie okay. was directed written and also starred the all Damn. the same person not all the same person but by their respective did, uh, their respective a- a- actor, who did uh, Sp- uh, Sling Blade? Billy Bob Thornton. Okay, okay, yeah, Billy Bob Thornton. And then the town was Ben Affleck. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So good job. You got wow. uh, two <laughs> two correct because uh, you got. And wasn't it because one of one point is like two half points? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so. So proud. What up, YouTube? I mean, I did. I did. I brought the. I brought the shit, was, man. That was a good connection, Miles. Yeah, I know. I'm glad. I. I. Yeah, I, I thought I did a good job good. with that. Yeah. All right. Cool. <clears throat> so, um, the, the, yeah. You got can, so, you got yeah. something for me, bro. Yeah, man. Got something yeah, big, man. juicy, mm-hmm. and hairy. Mm. Yeah. A fucking it's ugly your, it's, pooch. It's your, it's your manhood from when I cut it off. Oh, I thought you were going to say a big fucking ugly pooch. 
Yeah, man, that too. It's pretty juicy, pretty um, hairy. It is. It is pretty <coughs> hair, 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 hair. See, jewelry. Ju- ju- I don't know. Um, next week we're watching the movie Miles. Yeah. Indeed. And it's on Vudu for two ninety nine, or I guess if you want to watch it on Netflix, you can do that too. Oh. But it's it's called it's called a ghost story. It came out in twenty seventeen. Ooh. Indeed. Stars such actors as Casey Affleck, Rooney Mara, and Cash is in it. <laughs> it what? Says. Um, yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Interesting. A twenty four. A twenty four. Yeah, yeah. I'm ex- so. I'm I'm interested in this, and it probably it's probably also on Canopy then. Probably. Yeah. Because does, like, does Canopy just have a lot of A twenty four stuff? Yeah, pr- pretty much all okay. of their movies. Interesting. Is Canopy run by A twenty four? I don't think so. Interesting. It's just like they're very artistic. Interesting. They're very um, yeah. It is on eight two four. I mean canopy by the way. Um, it is on eight twenty. Yeah. Um, cool. Ghost story. Awesome. Can't wait to see ghost it. Story. I I, I think, think I a toy story. I think I saw the trailer when it came out and I was really interested in it. I just never got around to watching it though. I yeah. I actually just <coughs> was like scrolling through Netflix like last week actually, and I like before the podcast and I was like. We should watch this. Oh, damn it. It's not my week. I already chose. <laughs> and then so I was like, we'll watch it next week or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I saw like just a little snippet on Netflix. And I was like, this looks interesting. So kind of want to watch it. See what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, got four smiles. Um, I, got, I got a big, humongous chungus. Um, I do. Yeah, it's huge. Mm-hmm. It's fucking massive. Huge. It's hard to it's hard to walk around with it so much so that I've had to start um, getting a second pair of pants and and put pants. and put it just on my dick. I threw it on the humongous chungus. You and then and this. then people point at it and are like, "What the fuck is that coming out of your your in between your legs?" And I'm like, "Betwixt thou's in betwixt thou's legs." Guys. And I'm like, uh. It's it's my friend. He's hiding, and then and then a midget comes out and he's just like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" And then and then I say, "Well, while you're standing here, I might as well tell you that our podcast that my friend Henry and I run is on Anchor, Apple Podcast, Breaker, Castbox, Google Podcast, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Radio Pubic, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, and YouTube." And you should check us out and, and give it a listen. And then they punch me in the big dick. And then they're like, shut the fuck up, you fucking whore. <laughs> and then they uh, kill me. And I'm dead. That was, that was good. That was good, yeah. Amen. Um, Yeah, episode 49. Yeah, man. Next one's the big five zero fifty, 50 dude. Halfway, almost. Well, the next episode will be halfway to 100. Indeed. Jesus Christ, this is this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Yeah, and that's okay. This is just what the fuck was that? That was me imitating your laugh. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> that's what I call your fake laugh whenever I know like I didn't make a funny joke. That's not like, true, dude. You funny all the time. No, I, I, it's yeah, I can tell. I, I said, I said you I've, funny I've by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Mouse. You funny, you funny man. You funny man. Okay. Uh, thanks for yeah. listening. Thanks for listening to the podcast on Apple. No nope. podcast. Don't. Oh, okay. Not even close. I mean, you were close. <laughs> is it on an Apple Podcast? Yes. It is, yes, right? it is. You like just said the list, and I'm like, is it? Is it? Um, is it though? I wouldn't list <laughs> these if I was lying. <laughs> <coughs> All right, cool. Right uh, Miles is Miles isn't sick anymore. I mean, right. I am, but you just, can't tell. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Less sick than he was before. Uh, you can end it. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but seems that's our time. So now I must end the podcast with. The, what was it, the Buddhist palm? Yeah, just call it that. With the Buddhist palm. Watch out!